Hi kids. Nice to see you today. I'm going to read you another story, but today my reading partner is my chicken Gladys. Um, my book is going to be called Piggy Bank Gonzales, and it's about a piggy bank. Now, I don't have a pig that's a bank from Mexico, but I do have a chicken bank. So, Gladys, what do you think of that? So I'll put that up here. That's my that's my bank. And Gladys, you're gonna be a good chicken while we read. I'm gonna put you right here. There you go. Right here. There's your food. All right. Piggy Bank Gonzalez. This book was written by Jack Kent. In a little house in a little town in Mexico, there was a piggy bank. It belonged to a family named Gonzalez. Piggy Bank Gonzalez led a quiet life. Every day, Mama Gonzalez dusted him off and gave him a loving pat on the head. Now and then, one of the Gonzalez children dropped a coin through the slot on his back. Then they would shake him to rattle the coins so they could, not, so they could try to guess how many there were. But most of the time, he just sat on a table near the window and watched the people go by. It was a pleasant life, a comfortable life, but not very exciting. It's boring, said Piggy Bank Gonzalez. He wanted adventure. One day, a pig walked by playing a violin. That was more than Piggy Bank Gonzalez could resist. Wait for me, he cried. He jumped out of the window and ran after the pig with the violin. I'm a pig too, said Piggy Bank Gonzalez. Pooh, snorted the pig. You aren't a real pig like me. You're only made of clay. And he walked off with his snout in the air. The Piggy Bank followed on behind. They met a pig with a guitar. They met another with a trumpet. The three pig mu musicians played a happy tune. Other pigs began to dance. I can dance too, said Piggy Bank Gonzalez. He joined the dancers. Who is that? asked one of the pigs. Ah, oh, just a clay pig, answered another. Make him go away, said a third. But Piggy Bank Gonzalez went on dancing. As he danced, the coins inside him jingled merrily. A few coins popped out of the slot in his back. They bounced and rolled on the ground. Money, shouted the pigs. The clay pig is rich. They ran hither and thither, chasing the coins. Let's go to the market, they cried, and off they ran. At the market, each of the pigs chose a big hat for himself. Piggy Bank Gonzalez tried to choose a hat too, but the pigs got in his way. When it was time to pay for the hats, the musicians began to play. Dance, Piggy Bank, they said. Piggy Bank Gonzalez danced. Coins popped out of the slot on his back. Soon there were enough to pay the bill. Next, each of the pigs chose a fancy blanket to wear over his shoulder. Piggy Bank Gonzalez couldn't get close enough to choose one. Again, the pigs made him dance until the bill was paid. A man came by selling ices. I want strawberries, said one of the pigs. I like cherries, said another. Do you have any pineapple, asked a third. Piggy Bank Gonzalez was going to ask for grape, but he never got the chance. That was very refreshing, said the pigs, smacking their lips. The man held out his hand for his money. The musicians played. Piggy Bank Gonzalez danced. 
He danced and he danced and he danced, but there were no more coins. The piggy bank was empty. <gasps> we can't pay you, said the pigs. The man was angry. Robbers, he shouted. I'll teach you to cheat an old man. And he chased them with a stick. It's all your fault, the pigs shouted at Piggy Bank Gonzalez. And they ran off and left him. They were soon out of sight. Piggy Bank Gonzalez had short legs. He could not run very fast. If the man hits me with that stick, I'll break, he thought. Just in time, he hid among some pots. The man could not find him. After a while, the man gave up and went away. Piggy Bank Gonzalez ran home as fast as he could. Once again, the Piggy Bank's life was quiet and comfortable and not very exciting. Just the way I like it, said Piggy Bank Gonzalez. The end. Come here, Gladys, ready to say goodbye to the kids? Say bye, Gladys. Bye, kids. I'll see you next time we're in class. <laughs>